Here's another question from the Geico Savings Mailbag. Jason from Buffalo writes, I have a habit of hitting snooze and not being able to get up again. Any suggestions? You know, if you get Geico to help with your renter's insurance, it's quite easy, really. You'll know you're protecting your stuff for as little as 12 bucks a month, which I suspect will make you sleep much sounder. Then you'll just pop out of bed rested, ready to start your day. What he's saying is, a renter's policy is basically insurance for your snooze button. Plus most everything else you own. Visit Geico.com to see how affordable renter's insurance can be. Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. That's Kristen Towers Rolls over there. I'm Brett Chapin, um, and uh, we're talking today to the lovely and talented Kristen Hansen of I Will Love the Series.com. If you have any questions for Kristen, make sure you give us a call at 1 800 336 2225. That's 1 800 336 2225. And thanks so much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me back. No problem, no problem. Well, we got a really great response um, from people last week. They were pretty interested in um, your subject matter. It's not something that's um, normally uh, a subject that's dealt with a whole lot. If you could remind everybody uh, kind of what I Will Love the series is about. Um, yeah, sure, of course. Um, I, I Will Love the series is about a, uh, a young woman who uh, moves back home after a, a bad bout, I should say, in, in living on the East Coast, and she comes back to uh, LA, Los Angeles, for where she's from. And uh, the first episode, uh, she's at the breakfast scene, uh, you know, a pretty uh, intense breakfast scene. And, you know, it's just hard uh, coming back to your family for the first time after five years living at home. And they basically tell her this dark secret that comes out uh, as flubbed out and uh, that she was actually born a hermaphrodite and she had no idea. And so, uh, like I said from last week, it becomes this kind of a, a, a big revelation and it becomes a kind of a search for identity that she goes on and, and uh, yeah. Okay, excellent. What's, uh, what, what do you think drew you to this particular role? Um, do you think it was the challenge of dealing with that subject matter? Um, or was it the humor in the piece? What, what I think was it was more of the humor of the piece. I mean, when I, when I was writing it, I said, you know, there was a, there's, there's something about hitting rock bottom. For instance, when I came back home, I, I felt really, um, really like I let myself down like I couldn't there was no no place that I could go further you know I can I couldn't hit anything further than that and I think in some ways my subconscious manifested this woman who who's told that and and to me that was like a, a big kind of metaphor for for me and and um so that's where she is in the beginning and so I just think that it just her character just you know builds that self-esteem and it's called I will love and I chose that title because I think the will is one of the most important words in that I think the will stands out because I think so much of of us is trying to will something into existence and that's a big aspect of it is trying to find love for yourself sure. rather than you know trying to I will I will do it as opposed to naturally finding the 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 peaceful progression of it and you know the things that we learn through the course of challenges that that make us love ourselves and so that's kind of where it is too and the really kind of cool thing that sets i think my web series apart and or maybe i i don't know i haven't done enough research about what other web series are out there but it's shot on two different cameras so um when she comes back home she comes back home to her brother who's about 24 younger and he wants to go into film school he's kind of like a film geek but but let me just say that he's discovered that he wants to go into film school. So he uh, he has his own little cheap little camera. And so part of the breakfast scene, which is kind of cool, is that he is taping his family through his little cheap camera that his parents have gotten because he's interested. And so we're splicing together um, the footage that is shot on the Sony F3, which is a, a very nice camera, and then his footage that he captures. And so part of the progression is that... Um, he is looking for his film project. And with his discovery at the breakfast table, um, he makes it a point or, or, or learns that he wants his sister to be his film, film project. And uh, you learn that as the series goes on. And, and yeah, so wow. he's a big part of it too. I love that idea because you're seeing it through his point of view as well as the story's point of view. Right. So that's really cool. Yeah. 
Yeah. Super creative. Yeah. So we're keeping those tapes. We're keeping, you know, the camera that he has is a small little rinky dinky cannon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that you would have find, found in the 80s. So that is actually on a tape. So we have this tape box that is this box that is, you know, Dan, the, his name is the actor who plays his name is Dan, his tapes. And so we're keeping them as the series is going. And it's going to probably take about like six or seven months for us to get this series going in because we have to go on Kickstarter, raise the money. Mm-hmm. But we're keeping it. And we got to review all that footage that he. He is shooting on his camera by himself when we're not rolling or rolling. Yeah. Uh, so it's really fun. That sounds like a blast. It's a yeah. really creative way to do it. Yeah. Thanks. Absolutely. Yeah. Very good cool. Good stuff, huh? Yeah. I, yeah. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love all this this new technology that's taking over how we view media. Right. And yeah. I think that I think the kind of cool thing about us i'm getting a sense is that you know we're we're in um we're a product of like the 80s you know and and um i don't know what you're talking about i should speak for myself but i'm i'm a huge 80s but i mean i love the movies that take place in the 80s i love the songs so in some ways this bad is bad camera you know you see the progression of him going from a really bad director you know the, the i'm talking about the character here the character's name is jake played by dan um you see that he is starting off trying to zoom in on trying to find and as the as the web series progress you find him actually becoming very aware of his aesthetic and becoming a better director and part of the gags too is he's wearing really bad like director t-shirts like you know like <laughs> ones are just like really and uh, and and so he, he starts developing his own identity um, which I think is kind of cool, but but the fact that it's at '80s is because I'm I'm looking also for um, for bands uh, specifically covering music from the '80s that I'd like to kind of put in there, so it has very um, uh, kind of a hipster '80s feel too. So that's great. Always looking for bands to cover. So are you taking episodes. submissions of yes, songs? Yes, it's from on our bands? website. Yeah, uh, I will love the series. dot com. We're looking for for bands. Uh, like right now, I found a, a great uh, Take on Me Aha cover, mm-hmm. which I love. <laughs> Very nice. Who doesn't? Yeah. Uh, that's what a my cool ringtone. song to use in your, in your movie. <laughs> it's a really long time. <laughs> so how does that work? If it's a cover, you you don't pay royalties. Well, you, you pay you pay a less uh, less cost. Mm-hmm. I, I, Interesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, yeah, and you're getting to showcase a new band. A new bands, and yeah, yeah, as long as it has an '80s feel, I'm all about it. So that's great. Uh, yeah, they can submit that to us. Does your film takes place in the '80s? No, 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 no. No, it takes place uh, the here and the now. But uh, I, I'd like to pay homage to the things that I kind of had a big influence on me. Yeah. It's your film. You're allowed to do that. Yeah, Darn it. And all the people of our generation <laughs> completely get into that. They love the 80s stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Definitely. they do. Definitely. It's huge. And it's making a comeback now. I know. Oh, I know. Really Plaid has. shirts are everywhere. And now it's like yeah. a, Jelly it's shoes. oldies. Yeah. And I'm like, what? That's not oldies. <laughs> yeah. It's 80s. Yeah. Anything Take goes. <laughs> I know. I see 80s films on like AMC, American Movie I Classics. No. Is that a classic yet? I yeah, don't know. No. <laughs> Not to me. Well, we're, we're in the age That's... where films are now getting redone from the 80s, which I don't understand. It's I don't like, either. Just let it be. Yeah. And when they right. do it shot for shot the same way as an... Uh, um, why? Yeah, yeah, I, You're not doing anything new with it. Why do it? Yeah. That's just me. E- I mean, if they try and remake The Breakfast Club, I oh. mean, seriously, I hope I that doesn't happen. Sacrilege. <laughs> yeah. Sacrilege, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're talking with uh, the talented Kristen Hansen of I Will Love the Series. I Will Love the Series.com. Go ahead and give us a call at 1 800 336 2225 when we get back because um, we're going to be talking to her a little bit more about I Will Love the Series. So we'll be back on La La Land with Brett and Kristen on CRN Digital Talk. Looking at them to 